talking a little bit about kind of collision type sports and things like that. Concussions have been in the news lately, and there's been some new laws where doctors have to actually say it's okay for an athlete to go back into the game if there might be a situation. Talk about what you do and what people have to look out for with respect to concussions. Well, formerly, uh, we used to think that the milder head injuries, like the bell ringer mm -hmm. uh, that we used to call it, uh, is actually now a much, can be a much more severe injury. The, the athlete does not have to be knocked out to have a significant brain injury. So when this happens, it triggers uh, sports medicine specialists, uh, trainers, uh, physicians and the like to do a, an assessment of that athlete. And there are a number of, of things that we look for, um, not the least of which is their ability to think and talk and perform uh, without having symptoms such as a headache. And, they, and the athlete has to pass all of those things before we let them go back. So there's a lot more scrutiny on, uh, on those injuries. Sometimes you see this happen maybe in movies or real life, and somebody will hold up some fingers and say, how many fingers? Or they'll say, what day is it? Things like that, will that help you determine if you've got a situation? We do. The, 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 the holding up the fingers thing uh, is actually pretty antiquated mm -hmm. and would signify a very, very significant injury. But the, the other questions, the day, uh, using addition, subtraction type uh, questions, president, things like that, are all looking at uh, the person's memory and cognition, their ability to think sure. and to remember. What about shoulder injuries? Because they can get injured in football or lacrosse just by getting hit, or baseball players might get them from repeating you know, the throwing motion or the swinging motion. Right, and, and, and you just hit on the two main areas of shoulder problems that we see. For a collision athlete, dislocations and separations are very, very, very common. They can have impact on play, practice, that kind of thing. The throwing athlete is a more of a repetitive motion problem, uh, and, and that's a whole separate uh, issue. But obviously in athletes, uh, we deal with both of them. Sure, and real fast, ACL injuries, skiing uh, can cause that, basketball. Real fast, talk about that because we want to get to your event as well coming up. Yeah, um, well, any twisting injury puts the ACL at risk. If you plant and cut and somebody hits you in the knee, mm -hmm. then you not only tear your ACL but other things too. Let's talk about the event Monday night. It's at the Yukon Health Center in Farmington, right? Yes. Um, the Monday night symposium is all about the care of the collision athlete. And we are going to focus on ACL injuries, concussions, and um, uh, the ability to return to play and prevention as well as treatment. And I believe this is free, right? Totally free. Totally free. Parents, students, anybody involved in athletics, whatever you do. That, that's where we're earmarking the project, but it's okay. open to the public. Perfect. Dr. Robert Asiero from uh, UConn. Good Thank to see you. you, doctor. Thanks for coming on the program. Thank you. Okay, quick break. Back in a moment.